there, kids. It's me again, Mystery. Are you wondering what I'm doing? Well, I am having a little blast from the past looking at photos when I was young. Let me take you down memory lane and show you how I came to be. This was me, when I was just a sea. Other flowering plants like me start out with this stage of their life cycle. I started out as a sea. A layer called a seed coat is wrapped around me to keep me cozy and dry and protects me from insects and infections while I sleep. When it's time for me to wake up, this is usually called germination. There are three important things that I need to make this happen. One is water, another is oxygen, and lastly, warmth or just the right temperature. And this is just wow! Literally W-O-W. -W. Water, oxygen, warmth. So easy, right? During germination, my development will begin. This means I need energy. Where do I get it? Well, good thing all the food I need to grow is right here inside my seed leaves. Can you see that I have started to germinate? The first part of me to appear are my roots. No matter what position I wake up in, my roots will always grow downwards. My roots anchor me firmly to the ground while it collects all the yummy water and mineral salts to help me grow bigger. Ah! I remember the day when my first true leaves appeared. As I grow taller and upwards, the food in my seed leaves get juiced up and my seed leaves will eventually wither and fall off. So I need to make my own food in the process of photosynthesis by trapping sunlight and taking in carbon dioxide and water. My first true leaves grow upwards, having flat white surfaces to trap sunlight. On these leaves, there are tiny openings called stomata to take in carbon dioxide from the air. With this, I will use it together with water absorbed by my roots to make my own food in a process of photosynthesis. Finally, I have grown into an adult plant. You can see my flowers have appeared. This means I am now ready to reproduce and make more flowering plants like myself. But. We have to keep in mind that some plants don't produce flowers. Instead, they produce spores for reproduction, like ferns. In order for my flowers to develop into fruits, they have to undergo pollination and fertilization. There are two ways my flowers can be pollinated, either by insects or by wind. In this case, my friend bees are helping me in pollination. And now to my most recent photo. Because of pollination and fertilization, some of my flowers have now turned into fruits. Do you know that there are seeds inside my fruits? Yes, that's right. The seed that I started as when I was still a tiny plant. My fruits either fall to the ground or are eaten by humans and other animals. This allows my seeds to be dispersed to different places then it will someday germinate, restarting the flowering plant life cycle just like how I did. And that's it! With proper care and patience, I slowly grow from a very tiny seed to a tiny plant and then into a big tree, able to produce fruits from flowers and provide shelter for many animals. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to keep an eye out for more plant videos. Who knows, maybe someday you can grow a plant yourself. See you around, little kid. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, 
do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!